application of the medical marijuana related business uh, bylaws that's both zoning and uh, business regulation bylaws thank you yes councillor loveday uh, i'll move it but Second. i also have a comment okay Second. thanks moved and seconded councillor loveday yeah um at the very end of our discussion we put in a in a, a bullet six to st staff prepare an amendment to include licensed child care facilities and uh, in terms of list those places requiring a 200 meter buffer zone i i'm not sure if we gave this enough discussion um just a brief search shows that there are a lot of licensed child care facilities and uh it may I, I don't know exactly the implications but i would like a report on that um in terms of uh, so i'm not sure should i make an amendment um sure uh so just on number six, uh, direct staff to report back in advance of preparing an amendment. What did you say? Yeah, yeah, uh, direct, so yeah, I'll try that amendment. Direct staff to report back um, with a list, of, a, a list of licensed child care facilities in the city and the implications of uh, an amendment to include licensed child care facilities. So okay, is there a seconder? Okay, there's no seconder. Okay. Councillor Madoff is seconding. Yes. Okay. Uh, Councillor so, Lovett, you so still have the floor. To, to motivate, I, I was, I'm supportive of looking at this, and I think it's something we need to look at. We had, um, you know, for example, playgrounds were discussed, and staff recommended against it because they were, it was aimed at younger kids, and they, and that, that expertise was telling us that. It's older kids, high school age kids, that will be most uh, affected by by marijuana dispensaries in the neighborhood. So I, I want to get a little more information about this before we prepare the bylaw. And in terms of, I don't know how many of licensed child care facilities there are. I don't know which ones are licensed and which ones aren't. For example, in North Park, this might mean that uh, all of a sudden every one of the dispensaries is within 200 meters. It's probably the same in a lot of locations. So uh, unless we're, this is a backdoor way of shutting down all the dispensaries, I, I, I wanna know that information first. Thank you. Um, Director or Councillor Isaac on the amendment. Yeah, I wanna move an amendment because I don't want this to delay the process. We need regulation. These establishments continue to open and I think the priority has to be on bringing the bylaw forward um, just a question to staff. It, it's referencing that uh, bring forward an amendment, but my understanding this is a new bylaw. So why do we need an amendment? This sort of applies to items five and six. Wouldn't we ask staff to include language in the bylaw for first reading, addressing the items in five and six? Because there's no bylaw to amend. Uh, through my helps, I think contextually the the reference in in this motion that council is considering it was was at the time at committee of the whole that it was amendments to this to the existing suite of regulations that council was considering at the time. So these were additions to that um, uh, core core set of regulations. So it's not not an amendment in the literal sense. It's an amendment to those re uh, regulations proposed that were ahead of this. So they'll all come forward together. Okay. So I'm wondering, like, I don't. Um what does the amendment read right now for six? Oh, yeah. See, I don't really want to report back prior, prior to first reading. I wonder if staff could include a list and a map showing licensed child care facilities when the bylaw comes for first reading. So I'm going to move that the language be amended to read that, an amendment to the amendment. Okay, so what would you like it to read? That staff uh, provide a list and map of licensed child care facilities in the city of Victoria when the bylaw comes for first reading and include language in the bylaw relating um, as the motion. Uh, sorry, I'm going to leave that part out of it, including the language. Oh, and include a, a, a su suggestion for language relating to a 200 meter buffer zone around child care facilities. Is there a seconder? Thanks, seconded by Councillor Madoff. So we now have an amendment to the amendment on the table. Um, I just would like to ask Mr. Coates, 
Um, my understanding is what will come back to us is uh, not first reading of the bylaw, but a suite of um, the proposal coming back to Committee of the Whole. Is that incorrect, or are you bringing us everything back to Committee of the Whole for a final look before we go to Council and do first reading of a bylaw, or are we going right to the bylaw? It says for Council consideration under two. So uh, I think the intent here would be on on both these proposed bylaws is to br is to bring draft bylaws back to committee the whole for council to give consideration to at that time. So we'll have one more crack at this before we move it forward for a reading. That's correct. Okay, and Mr. Coates, with the amendment to the amendment on the table, uh, is that doable in the process as it's laid out? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you. So discussion on the amendment to the amendment, which would then cancel, cancel out the amendment. It's basically an alternate wording. Yes, uh, Councillor Loveday. Uh, this, this captures exactly what I'm looking for. I just want to make sure that when we're making this decision, we're doing it with all the information at hand. And so this, I think, having, I don't need it before. I think doing it concurrently is just fine, but I want to make sure we know what we're actually putting into the bylaw. Excellent. Okay, thank you. I'm going to call the question on the amendment to the amendment. All those in favor? Any opposed? Okay, thank you. Uh, which now just is an amendment because the first amendment is cancelled out by us passing that. Council, any further discussion on this uh, whole suite of recommendations? Yes, Councillor Young. Um, you're talking about the entire motion. That's correct. Um, well, yeah, I'll support this with some reluctance. Um, I, I've expressed my concerns about the 200 meter buffer zone around other, around each marijuana dispensary, which is not in the um, explicit in the recommendation in front of us, but is in the associated uh, principles. I'm not entirely sure whether this 200 meter buffer zone is intended to be one of the zoning principles or an absolute prohibition. Um, but in any case, um, that, that will certainly add to the complexity of the process. I'm most concerned about our decision to ignore the uh, concerns of the uh, provincial medical health officer about edibles. Um, I know that um, uh, you'll be uh, writing, assuming we adopt the next recommendation, uh, the next motion to write um, requesting that the province step into this area. Um, of course, this entire exercise we're going through is because of an absence of regulation by the other levels of government. So it's not entirely logical to plead that they should make the regulations when the whole exercise is one of regulating in a vacuum. Um, I will be interested in hearing the response, uh, but I, I think that we may well be put in the position of also having to uh, regulate around edibles to address the, um, the concerns that have been expressed. Um, and I assume that there are pros and cons of various ways of addressing this issue through packaging or constraints on flavoring or a whole bunch of things that we might consider that we haven't had time to do but may have to do if the other levels of government persist in ignoring this this area. So as I say, I'm prepared to um, move this forward because we, we in many ways don't really have a choice but um, uh, I, I think there are some holes that I think we're going to have to address as we go on if the other levels of government don't. Thank you. Further speakers? Yes, Councillor Isaac? I think uh, I wasn't able to participate in this debate um, but uh, due to a scheduling conflict, but I, I read the, uh, the mayor's remarks and uh, I think they make sense. We don't need to move into the area of regulating food products. It's useful to get the advice from the provincial health officers, uh, but... Um, uh, I'm not actually persuaded by the arguments in those letters. Um, I think uh, right now um, we don't sort of impose on our business licenses a prohibition on the sale of products containing trans fats, for example. 
which my understanding is are much more harmful from a public health standpoint uh, than the consumption of marijuana products. Granted, for a minor or for other, the, the inadvertent consumption of a marijuana edible product can be extremely uh, harmful given the psychoactive effects. And I think there are safeguards that this bylaw proposes, and we can strengthen those safeguards. But an outright prohibition is not sensible, um, in my opinion. Uh, we allow the sale of alcohol in a controlled way. That alcohol comes home. Sometimes it's sweetened. You'll think of some sweet schnapps and other substances. Those can end up in the hands of children. And we sort of rely on parents to be more responsible and to keep the liquor in an area where children won't access it. Um, so I think there's a number of harmful products that are sold through our current licensed retail system that can pose harm to, to different users. And uh, I don't know if it's the city's responsibility to, to address all of those potential areas of harm. Thank you. May I call the question, Council? Okay, all those in favor? Any opposed? Thank you. Uh, next, please. And that's the sub supplemental motion on the same issue regarding the letter to the Chief Medical Officer of Health. Thank you. Moved by Councillor Young, seconded by Councillor Coleman. Um, staff, can we move this one to the top of the pile? I know that these go in and they get you know, ordered in the, mo in the order that they're passed, but I would like this one to go out sooner rather than later. Yes, we can. Great. Thank you very much, as well as the next one. Okay. Thank you. Um, further discussion? All those in favour? Any opposed? Thank you. Next, Mr. Coates. And that is uh, consideration of the recommendations on uh, petty cab regulations. Oh, sorry, were we the, we missed the second letter? Eight. Number eight. Unless it's not there on the motion sheet. Uh, just for clarity, so um, the motion on the screen. So the the uh, the main motion that council considered initially has a, a letter to the prime minister included in it. So so that shows as as item number seven. Oh, that was stuck up. Okay, in ours in ours it's a separate. Uh, it's a set. We've got seven. The letter to the chief medical officer, and then number eight, the letter to the prime minister and other appropriate federal ministers. So. Okay, I, I, I see you've said that we've dealt with it, so we'll consider it dealt with. Okay, thank you. So then... Sorry, so then it's pedicabs now. Okay, thank you. 